Christmas is just around the corner and Identity 5 is ready to celebrate it with us. And it looks like we have a lot of character days coming up. For more news like this, stick around for this week's episode of This Week in Identity 5. Welcome back everyone to another episode of This Week in Identity 5. We are getting so close to Christmas now and even Identity 5 is ready to celebrate it. So I am definitely trying to add more Christmassy stuff to these week's episodes as we kind of have the lead up to Christmas and to New Year. So I hope you like all the effects that I may or may not have added to this video. Well, we got quite a lot of stuff last week, but not incredible amounts of stuff. At least one thing that did surprise me. So last week we got the new case closed crossover with part two at least, where you got the S tier skin for Sia, the A tier costume for Imbama, A tier costume for Mercenary, A costume for Barmaid, and a lot of furniture and you know avatars and stuff like that. The issue with this event was that you could not unlock these essences through the logic path, but instead you got one essence given to you by Natties every single day. And you also get, I think, some more essences by completing different kind of missions and quests that you have to do, along with getting other things like fragments and clues. If you then get lucky enough, you can get one of these skins, or you can also spend the obvious inspirations that you may have uh, to be able to unlock the skins. I'm not sure how many people are excited about this event, I must say from the poll that we did, not many people were very interested in it. Along with this essence, we also got the previous essence available. So you can also get the skins if you missed them from the last event and you want to spend, I'm assuming inspirations to be able to open them up, but I'm not completely sure. By sharing the event on Twitter, on Facebook, you could also get 100 inspirations that you could obviously put towards the event or you could save up for future essences. So that's also quite nice. As for new skins that we got, we also got the black tulip skin last week for the prospector that you can buy, I think only with echoes for 1038 echoes. That is a shame, but hey, it is his deduction skin. And I haven't really seen anyone in game using it yet that I have noticed at least, but maybe you have, tell me down in the comments below. The three characters that we got for the time of reunion event have been added into rank now so all everyone has probably been scrambling to be able to get their nightmare badge possibly their little girl badge and i'm not sure if anybody's too bothered by the novelist one but maybe you are really a big fan of novelist but i know that little girl is going to be a very competitive one since she is a very competitive character in the first place one thing that we got last week that surprised me because I was expecting it to come in a few weeks time because they only had announced it on Monday that it was a possibility that it would even come to us was that they added Dovelin into duo hunters mode there was something that I was incredibly worried about and I still think it's a, something I'm worried about but we tested this out on last week's stream I'll be putting the link above so you can watch that stream we had a lot of fun playing lots of duo hunter modes and I didn't really see too much of Dovelin in that game mode but I did use it myself and it is a little bit unfair considering that you have three hits anyway and now you can heal up and especially if you have a lot of people harassing the hunter while you're running or escaping you're probably going to be healed up and that's going to give you once again another hit. There were some optimizations for the game as well. There was one for the pawnbroker skin for Axe Boy, and they also removed the asphalt effect during the time that you are invulnerable when you get are uh, resurrected by the embalmer. This embalmer buff has been something that I have uh, that he got not too long ago has been something that I finally got to see in a match. I discussed the other last week that I hadn't seen it yet, but now I've seen it, and I am I do think that it's way too powerful for his character. I think it was completely unnecessary, but that's a discussion for another day. There are only a couple more days as from the release of this video before the Christmas illustration contest ends. So if you want to participate in Identity 5's official illustration contest, where I think there is a prize pool, but I'm not completely sure what it is, make sure that you participate and send in your art to this contest so that you can win because I'm very interested to see and I'm always super excited to see what the community can draw because I have seen so many amazing artists, it's incredible. Moving on to what we can expect next week, we have Christmassy events coming up. We've got the Christmas invitation event that's going to begin, where if you log in daily, you can receive portraits, portrait frames, and a B tier accessory that looks like a gingerbread themed gamekeeper head. 
it is interesting and you know some people like these kind of Christmassy things especially to wear around this time of year especially maybe if it's next year and you can show it off that you have last year's thing. If you manage to complete the quests you have access to choose one of two skins. You can choose either the Christmassy cowboy skin or you can choose the Christmassy barmaid skin. So you've got to make your decision I've already decided I think that I'm probably going to go for the cowboy skin, but I'm still kind of looking at that barmaid skin and thinking, do I want that one more? I feel like I'll get more use out of cowboy than barmaid since I already have a nice barmaid skin. But make sure that you make your choice beforehand because it's going to be difficult at the moment. There is another skin that we're getting for the Christmas event and that is the Christmas kind of reindeer skin for Gamekeeper and that one will not be coming for free, you will have to buy it with fragments or echoes at least it's not just an echo thing you can buy fragments and i really will be spending my fragments i think on this it's an a tier skin and i would love to see what kind of effects it has but it does look very cute and amazing and i don't really have that many good gamekeeper skins if i'm honest there are some older skins returning for the Christmassy event. We have a skin for Sia and we also have a skin for Joker that I think is going to be cool as well and I might get them myself because I really, well, maybe not the Sia one at least, but I do think I might go for the clown one. Last stream I tried to play Smiley Face and I learned him a little bit and you know, he's not the strongest hunter but he is apparently rumored to be getting a buff sometime soon or at least an adjustment to his abilities. So it would be nice if I could get a nice skin for him that isn't the A tier skin where it's very difficult to see the little twigs on the ground that I have. Make sure you check out that stream if you want to see how much I suffered playing Smiley Face. We have quite a few character days coming up now. We have Ember and Gardener's character days both happening on the same day since they are connected characters happening on the 21st of December. And we also have Entomologist's first character day, I believe, that's happening on the following day that is the 22nd of December. It'll be interesting to see what kind of stuff they give her because Entomologist is a very interesting looking character. What about some leaks and rumors? Well, I've been checking out the Identity5 Weibo account and it seems that Chi the Chinese New Year is being hinted at and there's going to be an unlock card, at least for the Chinese server. So we can expect probably a similar unlock card, possibly a little bit lower than theirs. At least we'll be getting something for the Chinese New Year that is happening in January. I believe around the 22nd, but I'm not completely sure. But we should be getting an event for that. We also have very soon the release of the results of the Christmas illustration contest and then whatever prize pool they get. This is really fantastic to see because once again, a lot of the people that I have in my Discord, link in the description, are amazing artists and I hope that some of them participated. As for the talk in the manner where I respond to your comments on my recent videos, I was shocked and surprised and amazed at how many people commented on my last video and there were so many people commenting about their ping issues that really is something that I wish that Netties would read. So let's see if we can get Netties to come into our comment section of the last video and uh, check out all the ping issues that everyone is suffering so that they can see that we really do care and really want to see the game fixed for us. The first comment we've got here is from Micah Draws that says, Now that you mention it, it does feel like things are getting worse. I've seen myself get further through pallets before getting ping pong back to being pallet stunned. It's kind of frustrating. Between this and the ridiculous state survivors can finish ciphers, it's just less and less fun these days. Yes, I've had a lot of issues recently where my character keeps on kind of being pushed around by this invisible force and characters just moving and walking on their own, even, you know, my characters that I'm playing, and it seems like the game has got really broken ping-wise, especially, yeah, with pallet stuns surprisingly happening when you're nowhere near the pallet or when you're clearly through it, or hits not hitting si survivors who drop the pallet even though your attack finished. It's a bit strange, and I think that Netties really needs to get their game sorted. And Cypher Machines are going way too quickly too. Avox says, I'm a Brazilian player and my ping is around 260 milliseconds. Thanks for making this video. No other YouTubers talked about this subject. It seems Netties tries to make us forget about it by putting skins and heavy updates in the game. But it only makes the problem more evident. I agree with you completely Avox and that's exactly why I put that kind of thing in the thumbnail of the video. 
Um, it's surprising that you being closer to the US are getting 260 millisecond ping, but I guess that once again would be dependent on how many hops you have to get before you get to their server. But that's a big problem, big problem. I think they need to fix it. And I don't think Netties can hide it for much longer because players are starting to disappear since they just can't play the game anymore. Mr. Magpie comments on my video of the hitbox for Nightmare saying there aren't many instances in which you'll use any of these attacks instead of dives anyway. And I disagree. I have played Nightmare quite a decent amount. His dash attack has a very strong weakness being that if there's somebody on the other side of the wall, you can't do anything about it. So sometimes you just need to walk through a pallet or be able to hit them as they drop the pallet. And the attack animation is a bit different for that. So. I do think there is a better usage for his normal attack hitbox, so it's important to know how it works. Renzi comments, You know, when I'm playing Hunter, I always give the last person the dungeon. Rarely I give them a tie, but when they just keep being toxic, I can't help but feel angry and destroy and feel like I need to destroy them all. It gives me satisfaction. So yes, don't be toxic, please. I want to play like normal and chit chat in post match. Renzi, I completely agree with you and I don't completely understand why people are so toxic in this game. And I'm glad that people responded well to that little shorts video that I did about toxicity. I usually let the last person out of dungeon, although recently I haven't been able to as much because of the wasting their time or wasting my time but yeah it feels kind of weird when people are being toxic because it really kind of annoys you and then yeah it would be nice to be able to chat nicely in post-match with people because it's like oh wow you did well that was amazing you kited me so well gg but no people just like to be toxic in the post chat as well post chat is a, a different world you could say which skin will you choose for the Christmas event? Will you choose the cowboy skin or will you choose the barmaid skin and why? Tell me down in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you would like to get more news every single Tuesday about Identity 5. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.